Smokeshop. Whether you're looking to give up the box to find a new one, Goodfellas Smoke Shop is here to help. Goodfellas understands that some people just like to smoke. We stock over 100 different flavored cigarettes, a walk-in humidor with over 50 premium cigars, and of course all major cigarettes by the cart or the pack. Goodfellas Smoke Shop in Denver. Time to meet the 150 pound fighters crew. Fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner. The Ludwig Martial Arts and Group of Colorado. Please make welcome Sergio Benitez. <laughs> and now, fighting out of the Farmers Insurance Thomas Swenson Blue Corner. From high altitude martial arts and war Colorado. Sergio Benitez wears the black and red trunks facing off against Louis Lau who's wearing the flag style and black trunks in this 150 pound fight. Mr. Benitez is a representative of Ludwig Martial Arts. Mr. Lau is a representative of High Altitude Martial Arts. Referee Tom Johnson third in the cage calls the fighters to the center and here we go with 150 pound MMA action. This one should be pretty exciting JR. Both these guys come from really good camps. Really technical fighters. Oh yeah. And uh, Mr. Lau coming into the cage just looks like he's in phenomenal shape this evening. They both do really, you know, I mean you're, uh, and, and we've seen these guys fight before. These guys constantly bring it. Good job working the knee strikes up against the cage by Lau. Really dropping his shoulders down, getting hard pressure. Yeah, good angle. Real good angle. Very, very difficult to move off that cage at that angle. And on top of that, you know, he's looking to do some damage on the inside knee strikes there. And good job with the wrist control, too, mm -hmm. by Lau. Lau now maybe thinking about changing levels. He's wrapped around the leg uh, with the right hand but has not given up wrist control with the left. So see what he likes to do, and he goes for the far side ankle pick. Nicely done yeah, by Lau. Very nicely done. Benitez trying to get a foot underneath him, sort of stuck between deciding if he wanted to pull guard or try to maintain balance, and into rubber guard we go. Benitez very, very calm in there. Very relaxed. Even though he's on his back against the cage where most people are in a bad spot, he's doing just fine here. Lau is getting off some powerful strikes to the rib cage there. Something that the judges definitely take a look at is a scoring technique causing damage. Very active off of his back as Benitez even pinned up against the cage. He's trying to spin through. He is, but I'm, uh, I'm watching referee Tom Johnson right now. He's telling both those fighters to pick up the pace here or he's going to stand them up. And Lau, that same forward pressure that he had when he was standing, he's keeping that down here on the ground too, just not allowing Benitez a chance to get off the cage and have anything effective happen for him. Yep, exactly. Lau looking to improve his position, doing a good job of pinning the wrist down of Benitez because Benitez wants to brace on that hand in order to stand. And now Lau positions himself very well. Had Benitez against the cage where he was delivering big right hands and body knees, or knees to the body, I should say. But uh, but Benitez did a really nice job of getting out of that dangerous position right now. And now he's back against the cage, airlifted for Lau for another takedown. Lau, just an absolutely masterful job with his head positioning this evening. He has not made a mistake, and he's really used that to his advantage throughout. I really like the timing of when he's shooting in because he's not putting himself in any danger at all when he commits to that shot. Really, really nice job right there from uh, Louis Lau.
Both corners exit the cage here. Referee Tom Johnson just about to kick off the second round here is the cage door lock. And uh, second round underway. JR, if you are in the corner of Sergio Benitez as a coach, what kind of advice are you giving him in between uh, rounds? Got to try to keep a little more distance. Lau has shown that he has a strength advantage as soon as he gets up against the cage or in the clinch, and his wrestling is on point this evening. So try to keep this fight a little bit longer. And what would you do if you were on the other side, Ron? You know, if I'm Lau, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of success with the takedowns. I'm seeing the ability to control Benitez with the takedowns. I'm looking to take him down and uh, put some ground and pound on him early. And Benitez doing a nice job of looking to strike the inside of the legs of uh, Luis Lau. See if Lau looks to use the strikes to uh, either set up a clinch or set up a shot and doesn't bother with the strike and just rushes right in. So full on sprint in order to get Benitez against the cage. And again, it's that really nice low shoulder position driving forward just like a guy going into the tackling dummies. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's looking for that uh, that anchor pick as well to, to kind of finish this, this takedown as he's got Benitez against the cage here and uh, always looking to deliver shots, which he's been doing, and there he's looking for to finish this takedown here, but Benitez doing a nice job of positioning and avoiding the takedown. Yeah, great hip positioning by Benitez and got his feet splayed, able to get his base back underneath him, and Lau had him elevated momentarily. Yeah, I thought he was gonna get him too, and he, he's been timing that shot really well all night, but credit to Benitez for doing a, a nice job of stopping the takedown. And what I like about the game of Lau here against the cage is he's mixing up the style of takedown attempts. He's going with the body lock, he's going for the double leg, and he's reaching down for the ankle pick. And it makes it difficult for Benitez to just set himself and be ready for you know a singular yep. style takedown because the defense is different on these different kinds of takedowns. The only thing that I want to see Lau do is be more active. I mean, he's, uh, he's doing a nice job of keeping Benitez against that cage, pinned up against the cage, but I want to see him delivering more strikes. A couple times we've seen Benitez bring the right knee through in order to clear that wrist control off. Really smooth technique on that, but uh, Lau with his wrestling prowess, used to that hand fighting, always able to come back in and get that wrist control again. And even though it's not a ton of damaging style strikes, it's enough to keep the referee happy. Yep. He hasn't closed in or said anything about the fact that there needs to be more action. So 10-second yep. clacker sound, and we're going to go to a third. Second round underway. I'm going to say third. I'm in uh, third, sorry. Good enough. And Benitez coming out pressing the action. And I think that's why he probably has to know that he's down two rounds. He's been controlled up against Cage. He hasn't really received much damage, but Lau putting this fight where he wants it, and that's, uh, that's the scoring criteria. Nice body kick right there from Benitez. Sends a ripple through the crowd. And as absolutely brutal as that was, Lau didn't even blink. No, not at all. Gangster. <laughs> Good call. 
But you can see, you know, JR, in reality, though, you could see Benitez is very, very cognizant of this takedown from Lau. That's the last position that he wants to be in right now. And great job circling off the cage. About three times he altered the direction. Lau continues to try to drive him into that cage. And Benitez finally able to get the circular footwork that he needs. And I love the positioning of Benitez's head just now on Lau. He literally laid his forehead on Lau's shoulder and was looking for the openings when they were there. And great adjustments here in the third by Benitez. This is exactly what he has needed to do. Yeah. To see if he can get the power into those strikes that he needs. The problem is he's down two rounds, so he probably has to get a finish. So he has to wind up and set his feet and try to get some real power into those strikes. And of course, we know a wrestler, as soon as you plant your feet, that's the opportunity that he looks for to come in and try to take you down. 100%. The only thing is, is I'm curious as to why he's not more busy. I mean, you know that you're down two rounds to nothing. You've got to come out gunning for a victory, and I'm just not seeing it out of Benitez. Yeah, I think he's just trying to pick a real power shot. You know, that body kick that we saw? Yeah. I think he's trying to set up very damaging strikes in the place of just trying to be the busier. Nothing more damaging than volume. And Lau lands a heavy right hand that takes Benitez to the ground. Lau follows into guard, and here he is delivering the ground and pound from the top position. Let's see if Lau decides to try to bring Benitez over against the cage. He had great success there when he had the fight uh, on the ground in round one. But just like you said earlier, too, credit to Lau for staying just busy enough to where referee Tom Johnson's not going to stand them up. Really nice job by Lau. And now Lau's starting to drive his opponent toward the cage. And Benitez, of course, doesn't want that. It shuts down some of your mobility. Benitez trying to get on a hip, trying to scramble, trying to throw up a submission. Being pinned against the cage shuts down a lot of that. 10 second clacker sound. It looks like we're going to take it to the judges. Yes, sir. Great fight by Lau. Good controlling fight right there by Lewis Lau. Really kind of negated the movement of Sergio Benitez all the way. Bye. 
these tickets. I got love for you. Thank you for giving me something to do and something to be. Congratulations on an impressive victory.